Also, I wanted to share with you Dieter Bone's review of the Microsoft Surface Duo, because remember, Microsoft has big long-term ambitions in the dual screen space going forward, but also because it was just a damn sexy and interesting looking device. I wish I had gotten my hands on a review unit myself. Hint, hint, Microsoft. Dieter says the Surface Duo has thin, beautiful hardware, a good battery life, and largely fulfills Microsoft's promise of running two apps at once. And yet, he says the software isn't quite there yet. It's a bit buggy. Also, the camera is kind of bad. Here's Dieter's summary, quote, Microsoft Surface Duo aspires to be something different from any other gadget you've used. It could be mistaken for a phone or a small tablet, but it's both less and more than those things. When it's closed, there are no screens or cameras. In shape and appearance, it's like a small book, a digital version of the Field Notes notebook I carry around in my back pocket. When open, you get two screens side by side or one screen with the other folded back. And like a notebook, it feels somehow more natural to hold than a phone's vertical slab shape. You hold it in your hand with the two sides angled toward you like a book. In truth, there's nothing the Surface Duo can do that you can't do on your current smartphone or tablet. Your smartphone surely takes better photos, and your tablet doesn't have a big gap in the middle of it. But the difference with the Surface Duo is the way you do things is unique. I found myself tackling tasks that would have frustrated me on those other devices. It's unlikely that Microsoft has lit upon an iPad-sized market with the Duo, but despite the bugs, I do think it has made a case for itself as a new kind of device. Or at the very least, it has earned a chance to keep a spot in the emerging class of devices that try to fit a larger screen in your pocket by folding it in half in some way. It's not really ready, it has a bunch of good ideas, but the execution is bad in places and a lot of people aren't going to get what Microsoft is going for. Microsoft has the clearest, strongest vision for a new direction in mobile computing that I've seen this year, but picking a direction and getting to the destination are still two different things, end quote. 